What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. So basically, this video is pretty much just going to be talking about what happened at Homecoming 2019 for me at least, at Brennan. Uh, a lot went down, it was kind of wild, not going to lie. It wasn't as good though, I mean it was pretty bad. I mean, not the experience, but just like Homecoming as a whole, kind of. Emphasizing not the experience was bad, but... Oh no, the setup. The setup. We'll say the setup was pretty bad, but, you know, nothing really interesting happened. I don't know why. Maybe it's because, you know, I'm getting older, I guess. Junior, so. Uh, maybe homecoming's just not as interesting as it was freshman year to me. But, uh, so I'm going to show you guys some footage of what went down at homecoming. Not a lot of footage, footage, you know, just a little bit. I mean, I was hanging out a lot, talking to friends and all that, so I didn't really have time to record, but, uh, I'm going to show you guys what. I do have. Brennan 2019 homecoming experience in, you know, compressed time format. Uh, but basically, first things first, start off the night, I lost a bet to my mom, sadly. So I owe, I owe her money. Basically, I just said that we were going to be linked to the dance because they were doing my sister's makeup and getting her dressed and all that. And she said that she would be able to get me there by 8.07. I said, no, we would be late. She said, bet. I said, bet. We shook on it. And we got there exactly at 8.07. So, uh, that's how that started off. Um, next. Okay. After that, the next thing that happened was I pull up to the dance, you know. So, my outfit was a white dress shirt and black jeans, Adidas shoes, uh, pumped ups. Uh, and then Gucci belt and um, I pull up you know I'm wearing like pretty much casual something you know sem not semi formal like semi casual if that's a thing uh, and my friends there I'm not gonna name any names this video just so you guys know no names will be mentioned in this video but uh, my friend he I, I go over there and he's wearing <laughs> he's wearing jeans he's wearing jeans and a t-shirt, a gray t-shirt with white stripes for a homecoming. There were some dudes wearing tuxedos, some dudes wearing bow ties, overalls, whatever you want to call them. I don't know, spandex? No, I don't know what they're called, whatever. But he was wearing a t-shirt, a gray t-shirt with white stripes. And I'm just sitting there laughing at him because it was the most funniest thing in the world to me. That he was wearing a gray t-shirt with white stripes. <laughs> and so he was freaking out. He's like, I'm not going inside. I'm not going inside. I'm not going inside. And I was like, come on, man. Come on. Let's just go have a t good time. He's like, no, man. I'm not going inside. I'm wearing this. I can't wear this. And I was like, all right, man. I got you. So I called my mom. She had just dropped me off on her way home to chill out with the family and all that jazz. And uh, I'm like, ma. My friend... He, he decided to dress like a bum, and she was like, "That's that sucks. And I was like, can you please bring a white dress shirt that I have in my closet? Can you grab it and bring it here? And she said, okay. So mom came in clutch. Uh, we were there for, what, like 30 minutes? We were just sitting in front of the school for 30 minutes, just walking back and forth. I was talking to friends. He was hiding in the shadows so that nobody would see him, and he wouldn't get bullied. Um... But she she came, and she brought it, and I was just like, wow, okay, cool. Uh, so we thanked her and all that jazz. We were hyped. He, he, so we go inside. He's like, oh, should I go put it on now? And I was like, yeah, bro, you can put it on if you want to. 
uh, I'm gonna go talk to my friends, and he's like, okay, so we get inside, we, you know, give them our tickets, our RVs, whatever, and we get in, um, we get in, and I go start talking to friends, he goes into the bathroom or whatever to get changed into it, and I was like, okay, let me just go say hi to some friends, I go, you know, I go mingle, all that jazz, and like, uh, f f what, five, six, seven minutes later, he texts me, and he's like, it doesn't fit, <laughs> and I'm like, what do you mean it doesn't fit, and he said, it doesn't fit, and I I was like, what? So I go into the bathroom, and when I said it didn't fit, it looked like he stole a leprechaun's clothes and threw it on him. I mean, I admit, I'm short. I'm sh I'm short for my age. Like, I'm, I'm pretty short, and he's he's tall. He's taller than me, at least. I consider him tall. But uh, it didn't fit him at all. The sleeves were, like, at his elbows. <laughs> and you could see, like, his stomach. It was funny. And meanwhile, okay, okay. And so, real quick, real quick. So after, after, um, I just, he tries it on. He's like, it doesn't fit. And he he gives it to me, and I give him my shirt. I take off my dress shirt. I'm like, here, put this on. I throw it to him. He throws me the small one. I start putting it on, and as we're changing into it, so we didn't go into the stalls for some reason. Uh, we didn't go into the stalls to change. So we just take off our shirts and everything, and then like four or five dudes walk in, and they just see us. And then they just turn around and walk out. <laughs> it was just like the shock on their face. They're like, we shouldn't be here, should we? So they just left. And we were just like, okay. <laughs> so they, they probably thought we were gay, uh, which was which was funny to me. Um, we were just sitting there laughing about it. Um, long story short, it didn't fit me either. And he felt bad that he was taking my clothes. So he gave me the one that fit me. And he just wore his t-shirt for the rest of the night. Tough. Sorry. You still had a great night, though. Kind of. Not really. But she tried. Anyways, so I'm walking around, you know. Uh, we're trying to go find some ladies, obviously. It's homecoming. We're juniors. <laughs> Anyways, um, so he was looking for uh, a girl to dance with, and I was looking for a girl to dance with. Uh, I meet up with a bunch of friends. He comes with me. He doesn't know them. I introduce him and all that jazz. And I'm like, hey, bro, just go, you know. Uh, we'll meet back here in 10 minutes, okay? You have 10 minutes to go find the girl to dance with. And he was like, okay, bet. And I go do the same. So we go around, walking all around. I go talk to friends and all that. Um, you know, nothing really happened. Uh, I was pretty bored. Uh, I was just, I don't like to dance like that. I mean, like, if I'm messing around, I'm making jokes and all that. Oh, hold on. That was weird. Uh, if, like, if I'm dancing and I'm making jokes and all that, uh, that's when I like to, you know, dance and all that, you know, like, Fortnite dance, all that, just because I think it's funny. Uh, but I don't like to dance in front of people. That's just not my forte. I don't like to do that stuff. That's just not who I am. So, you know, uh, I'm messing around, just standing there, tapping my toes and all that. Um, there was a kid there in full pirate costume. Which made me uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know why. He was just wearing a pirate outfit. And it wasn't like someone who was like, it was just somebody who showed up. Like it wasn't somebody who was working homecoming. No, it was just some random kid. And I was like, okay, cool. Pirate boy. Like that. Um, but, um, to 10 minutes, me and my friend, uh, we meet back up and we couldn't find anybody. So I'm like, bro, just YOLO. Go ask that girl over there. Goes over. And he's like, okay, bet, I'll go do it. He goes over to the girl and he's like, hey, can we dance? And she said, no. <laughs> she said no. He just got stone cold rejected. It was hilarious to me. And so he was like, that felt pretty good, you know? I don't have to worry about it anymore. I'm not going to see her ever again. I was like, yeah, man, you just got to think about it like that. So he goes around asking a bunch of girls, leaves me alone. I'm like, okay, cool. Um, what happens next is... Uh, so we, the, the homecoming's about to end, you know, I went home, I was just dancing around with friends, all homecoming, all that, yeah, I was looking for someone, never happened, uh, throughout the dance, at the end of the dance, uh, you know, at the end of the dances, they play the slow songs, and John Legend, All of Me comes on, I'm like, okay, cool, and my friend, uh, this, this, uh, this girl, I'm like, hey, you wanna dance? Cause you know, I thought she was cute for a minute. I've been thinking she was cute for a minute and everything. 
They're like, you want to dance? She was like, yeah, sure. And so we started slow dancing and all that. We slow danced at the last songs. We talked about a bunch of stuff. It went really well, really well. I'm not going to name any names, like I said, but um, I was happy with the outcome. We'll say that. Happy with the outcome. You can, you can take that as you want. All I'm going to say is I was happy with the outcome. Um, but that's pretty much what happened at my homecoming, you know. Not a lot went down. It was pretty boring. Uh, friend wore wrong shirt. Uh, there were some fun moments, you know, dancing. Uh, somebody got crowd surfed. That was, that was crazy. Somebody jumped on somebody else's back. That was crazy, too. They were just, it was wild. A lot of stuff went down. I learned how to dance a bit. <laughs> So that was fun, uh, but that was pretty much my brand and homecoming, you know, experience. Uh, pff, not the worst one I've been to. I've gone to three now. Freshman year was obviously the best one just because I was new to high school. I was like, oh, it's homecoming. Wow. Uh, sophomore year sucked. Sophomore year sucked. Uh, junior year um, started on a sour note, ended on a high note. Uh, so it's not the best, not the worst, so in the middle. So freshman year was best. Junior year was second best, and then, you know, sophomore year was just trash, I guess. But, uh, yeah, that was homecoming. Uh, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'll be posting a new video tomorrow, hopefully, if I have enough time. We'll, we'll see. But, uh, yeah, that's it. I'll catch you on the flip.